All right, so I'm going to start you guys with the very basics of Illustrator. And if, I'm going to run you through these three tutorials, which are available if you go to Window and click Learn. They are there. The Pac-Man, I want to do this bush, and also this ramen bowl. All right, so you can go there for those tutorials if you'd like to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to show you basically uh, the same thing. So these, all three of these can be found in the description, uh, these AI files, which is Adobe Illustrator. And we'll go from there. So uh, like Photoshop, um, depending on the tool that you select, it will change uh, what's available on the right side or left side. But let's just get to it. So um, first off, we're going to grab uh, a shape. So we're going to go get the ellipse tool. And as you move around, and by the way, before we move on, if this doesn't look like this, you're going to want to go to Windows, Workspace, Essentials, and you can hit Reset Essentials so it looks just like mine right now. So if I open something, it'll be in the same spot and whatnot. All right, so I'm I'm on the uh, ellipse tool, and I'm going to move it right there, so you can actually see that it's intersecting or it's lined up with that part of uh, Pac-Man here. And I'm going to click and drag. Now I'm going to hold down Shift as I do this, so it's exactly the same size. Now it's red because that was the last colors I was on, but let me show you that you have a fill color. If you click it, this will pop up on your screen, and you have a stroke color. So we're going to want to change our fill color. Uh, to a yellow color or you can just pick the color in here or you can go to appearance right here and click and see some of the default web colors and I could choose that yellow and we don't actually want a stroke so you can turn it off here or you can go over here either way is fine but if you click stroke we can actually put it at a zero weight that'd be one way to remove it or just turn it off you know by selecting um, oops not selecting there but you can just choose off like that as well so anyway it works just fine uh, after I draw that, you can see there's this little bar that hangs out the side of it, and we can grab that, and it actually lets you open it up a certain amount. And same with, with pulling it down, so we can open it up to get a little mouth for it. All right, that looks fine. So I'm going to choose the selection tool, and I can click off it, and now we have this part. And we're going to draw another little circle and try to get the eye kind of lined up. It looks right around there. All right, but we want this one to be black, so I just simply choose the fill color and choose black there. And now we need these cool little dots. So I'm going to click off it for a second. And now I'm going to hold the uh, tool button down and go to line segment tool. And I'm just going to click on the first one and then hold down shift and go to the last one. Now, right now, it doesn't look like much. It's just a line. Uh, but what you can do is you can uh, click stroke right here under appearance. Or if you'd like, you can go up to window appearance and you can look at it from here as well. Uh, right now, I don't have a stroke color, so we should probably choose that. And... Um, Let's use just orange like they have. And what we can do is actually click stroke right here, right here. And we can choose rounded. And we can also change the thickness of it. Uh, but more importantly, we're going to do a dash line. So you're going to check that mark right there. And we can do one and then type in a gap of 24. So one and 24. And right now you can't see it. So I'm going to make this a little larger. And you can see the dots form. So somewhere around 12 is probably what we want. So 12. Um, and I have rounded, see, so otherwise it'd, be, it'd just be a square, not square, but a line. Uh, we could do rounded there, and 1 to 24. I'm going to use my pointer tool or my selection tool and click off it. And you can see we have what is like it is on the bottom. So that's your first task. So you're going to go ahead and save that, and you want to save it as an AI. So just to make sure you know how to do that, under save as, and I'm going to throw mine on my desktop, and it's called Pac-Man AI. That looks just fine. I'm going to save. All right. Moving on to the plant. All right. I like this one. Uh, we're going to introduce you to the pen tool, one of the most frustrating tools in Illustrator, but also one of the most useful if you know how to use it. So um, try to, you know, you can download this again, it's in the description, but I'm going to click once there. Okay, and I have this line that's following me around and I'm going to click again, but I'm going to click and drag. And now what this does is it creates these handlebars. So I have two anchor points, but I have this handlebar deciding how much to stretch it or curve it. Okay, so I'm just going to move it up to this little X right here. And then I'm going to let go and see now it wants to actually continue the line. But as long as I uh, unselect it, let's say I go to the selection tool or just hit V, it'll actually just keep it as that one line there. OK, um, now that I have the line, oops, let me just actually move it so you can see it away from it. So here it is and I can change the uh, stroke of it. So let's up that to um, we can make it nice and thick. Now you'll see mine already has a gradient. That's because I clicked on stroke right here. Or you can do it here, but they have a gradient option, which uh, if you just choose this one, works out just fine. So click the black and white gradient, and then um, we need to bring up gradient as well. So here's the appearance palette, but you can also go to a window and get a special little gradient 
panel, okay? And here what we're gonna do is it has the one color and the other color. So we're gonna choose a darker green and then choose a lighter green, okay? So something like this, okay? All right, that looks pretty good just like that. And so it goes from this direction to that direction and you can change the angle of that gradient however you want it to look. I think, you know, the default lighter on top, darker on bottom works for this just fine. So we'll leave that alone. <clears throat> Now you're probably thinking, hey, it looks fine, but we need to now change it. I'm just going to pull it over a little further next to this one. And we can change the stroke option. So I'm going to click on stroke here again under the appearance palette. And uh, down here it says profile. It says uniform. And we're going to change that to one of these. So uh, let's try with this one. This one looks pretty good. So yeah, it's kind of a leaf form to it. All right. And uh, we can we can also flip um, flip it right here to which direction we want. So that looks pretty good right there. And um, now we're actually done. We are actually bring it all the way down to here. So we have light versus green. Wow, almost exactly the same. Um, and we can also change it. So like, see how this one's got a little thin line? We can do the same. We can choose it, um, choose the, the, the path. Again, the, a line is called a path. An anchor point is a dot on each end. And um, stroke is the idea that we're not filling it in. It's rather we're just, we just have a line, okay? Um, and what we can do is add another stroke to it. That's so to add that stroke right down here, we have stroke and fill. You're just going to click it one more time after we're on that stroke for that shape right there. I click it and it adds another stroke, which doesn't really do much for us, except this one, instead of doing green, um, like gradient, we're going to drop it down here, or actually you can just click on the green right here. And we're just going to do this really uh, light green. Okay. And we're going to make it super thin. All right. And then also it's like 0.75 and it's just going to be as default. So if I click off it, you can't even see it. All right. <laughs> what we have to do is take this stroke and drag it. Oops, drag it from right on this side, drag it above the other stroke. And now you click off it, you can actually see that line. Oh, but it looks like we messed up this stroke. So let's bring this back down to that one. There we go. All right, cool. So that's mine. That's theirs. Looks pretty good. All right, so we can take that and then place it um, in front of the pot. We could even change the size of it. Maybe we want it to be a little longer. Um, that looks pretty good, but of course it's in front. That doesn't look right. So what we're gonna do is right click on it and do, um, right click on it, sorry. I have to finish resizing. Right click on it and go to a range and then send to back. Okay, so now it's behind the dirt, as you can see there. And what we can do is make copy and paste this, maybe make a shorter one. And, um, Maybe this one can go off to the side or we can rotate it. Uh, so basically, you know, grab three or f three to five of these and I can take this one again, arrange, send to back. All right, and you can see basically you get a few of them and you get the idea. Um, so we get like four or five of those. And then I would save that again as an AI file so I can get my pot done. All right, now the last one, the ramen noodles. All right, so <laughs> a little bit different. Um, so we have the pen tool available. We also have this. Uh, pen tool has got this like, curvy line, but we're going to come down to the brush here and use the pencil tool. So hold down the brush. It goes to the pencil tool. And I'm going to kind of make some squiggly lines like they have here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of squiggle around, squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. All right. And I'm not great at this, and this is probably not going to look all that great, but we're just kind of squiggle them around up here. All right. Nice circles. And there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take that. Oh, I have an extra line. <laughs> what you can do is, hey, if this ever happens, well, let me just show you. I can use this selection tool and highlight that last little point there and hit delete. And it'll shorten that piece up so it doesn't even use it. All right, there we go. All right, so, uh, and by the way, you can hold on spacebar to move around the screen and control plus and minus to move around. Um, so this does, this looks okay, sort of, not really. Okay, so we're going to right click on this and then again, arrange, send to back so it's behind there and then also change the stroke of this. So again, I'm going to change... Uh, change this to more of a orangish color and then up the stroke on it so it looks more like noodles. And also we can change this, maybe move it down inside the bowl a little bit. There we go, that looks pretty good. All right, now let's get those steamy lines there. So I'm going to go up to the line tool and I'm going to start drawing it, just a simple line down, All right, something like this. All right, and we want this to be gray. Kind of, that looks fine just like that. Um, probably a little thinner though. So maybe like two points or three points. And then we don't want it to be just a regular line, right? We want it to be a squiggly line. So you just have to highlight the object, which in this case is just a straight path. 
and we're gonna go up to effect and then it's under distort and transform there we are there's zigzag and we can choose the size of it over here it creates a preview so that's really nice if you don't have it checked then you won't see it um and then let's change it to uh smooth all right so that looks pretty good um we can change how many ridges you know, do you want a lot or a little we want a very little so maybe just two in fact let's see what that looks like oh i like that and we can hit okay um, if you didn't like that effect you can also click on zigzag again to bring it back and you can uh, look at that i think it looks pretty good 10 and 2 all right and hit okay and i can do more it looks like they did three um and then what we do is copy it Control c or actually you can do Control c and v i'm sorry Control c <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's Control V to paste, or a little nice little other trick. You can hold down Alt while you select it, and you can move it. I think that works. Or start moving it, and then tap Alt, or hold down Alt. There we go. Um, and you can make multiples like that. Okay, and I can yeah, let's make one more. And maybe moving this down to make sense, or even I could highlight all of them and maybe resize them so it's a little bit taller. Squiggly lines. There we go. There's my ramen. All right, and then last, let's get our um, let's get our chopsticks in there so I'm gonna click and drag downward nice straight line and I can actually uh, use the rotate tool which is right here and I could grab a point and then you know, get the angle I'm going for uh, but what we want to do is make this one white or I'm sorry not white <laughs> want to make this red uh, so I'm going to choose regular red here and just like before I can drop down stroke and instead of uniform I am going to choose with profile 4 and you can see it nice and pointy now but it's maybe a little too pointy so i'm going to up this a little bit and i want to round the caps so it makes a little more sense like that all right and then i think i just need to make it longer so i'm going to make it longer like that and take this chop stick and move it down here and i'm going to right click on it and do a range oops right click on it and do a range whoa you don't like me it's not sending it to back hold on yeah just right click arrange and you can send it to back and then I'd want to grab another one of these copy and paste it and then do the same thing um, you can also go to you know maybe change the direction of this one a little bit um, you can also click that object and go under layers window layers it's another way to do this and we can draw take that uh, line and we could pull it below all the rest of them and that's another way to change the order of it as well okay now, honestly, I don't think I want to take both of these and just rotate them down, maybe. Make them lay down a little bit more like the example. Makes a little more sense. All right, and there's that one. So hopefully you get kind of the basics right now. Uh, the only thing we're missing now is maybe the Pathfinder tool, but I'll make that a separate video here in just a moment. All right, that's it.